a wild elephant that triggered a significant debate, and a legal battle in the southern Indian state of Kerala has been relocated to a tiger reserve. Officials allege that Arakomban, named for his habit of raiding local shops for rice, has killed seven people. Locals near his original habitat had been calling for his relocation for months. Dear viewers, Slant News TV is currently striving to attain its initial 1,000 subscribers. We appeal to you to wholeheartedly support us by subscribing to our channel. On Saturday, the elephant was tranquilized and transported to Periyar Tiger Reserve, approximately 80 kilometers, 50 miles, away. Government officials consider the operation a success, as they are monitoring Arakomban's movements and have received the first signals from a radio collar attached to him. However, Activists argue that the discussion highlights a more significant issue of human-wildlife conflict that cannot be resolved by displacing one animal. According to the latest elephant census in 2017, India has almost 30,000 wild elephants, representing around 60% of all wild Asian elephants. The loss of habitat and fragmentation often drives them to invade human habitats and raid crops, resulting in conflicts. Arakomban, believed to be over 30 years old, was a familiar site for individuals living near the Diviculum Forest Range in Idukki district for decades. Locals claim that earlier, when huts in the area were made of bamboo and grass, the elephant caused little harm when he came foraging for food. However, as the population grew and concrete houses became more common, the elephant began damaging buildings and having run-ins with humans, resulting in protests from locals. Initially, the State Forest Department planned to capture Arakomban and make him a trained captive elephant. Still, animal welfare activists petitioned the Kerala High Court against this. The government informed the court that the elephant had killed seven people, a claim that activists have questioned. Sri Devi S. Kartha, a member of People for Animals, one of the organizations that filed the plea in court, said, During our inquiry in the area, tribal people said that Arakomban had not killed anyone. The High Court then established a five-member committee, which advised capturing and relocating the elephant to an area with minimal potential for conflict with humans. The panel's initial suggestion of moving the elephant to the Parambiculum Tiger Reserve in Palakkad district sparked protests from local residents. The Kerala government then appealed against the High Court's order to relocate Arakomban to the Supreme Court, but the top court refused to intervene. The government then began searching for alternative locations to relocate the elephant, and launched a massive operation involving a task force of 150 officials to track and capture it. After a two-day operation, Arakomban was tranquilized and moved to the Periyar Tiger Reserve. Reports indicate that authorities imposed a curfew and deployed police officers in case locals protested against the elephant's arrival. Nonetheless, Arakomban's arrival was reportedly greeted with cheers. Ms. Carter informed the BBC that their petition had requested that Arakomban be kept in his original habitat, as it was the best option. However, she added, but in his case, his life was in danger because people in the area had become very hostile. That is why the committee of experts decided that translocation would be better.